Maria? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Johnson & Johnson is still hot with investors. The latest Harris Interactive poll shows the drug maker is still the most trusted company in America. Recent corporate scandals, of course, have caused some reshuffling, though, in those rankings. Bertha Coombs is here now with that part of the story. Bertha. Maria, Harris Interactive first asked people to name the most recognized corporations, then they asked them to rank them. Of the 60 names on the list, Enron was mentioned the most, and it ranked that last. But when it came to factors like leadership, products, and emotional appeal, J&J's name topped the list. From Band-Aids to pain medication, Johnson & Johnson makes products to make people feel better. And for the fourth year, it's the company people feel best about, according to a corporate reputation survey by Harris Interactive. J&J's branding consultant, James Dottori, says it's no accident. The company puts a premium on consumer trust. The company now has been able to, one, take that mission statement, move it into their brand identity and their communications platforms throughout their various companies and instill trust and reliability to their customers. Harley Davidson didn't even come up in the 2001 survey, but for 2002 debuted in second place, ahead of Coca-Cola, which again ranked third. United Parcel Service jumped from 15th place to fourth, while General Mills, another newcomer to the list, rounded out the top five. Dell was the only tech company to crack the top ten, moving from 13th in 2001. But the tech downturn may have impacted the emotional appeal of other tech giants, like Intel, which dropped from fourth to 19th. And Microsoft, which still ranks first when it comes to leadership and vision, but fell from an overall ranking of second place to 13th place in the latest survey. Corporate scandals also saw companies making their debut on the list. Enron, Adelphia, Anderson, and Global Crossing didn't make it on the list in 2001. What WorldCom scandals hasn't changed its ranking. Reputation is everything. Look, look at the stocks and the companies that have had uh, uh, poor performance in the overall shareholders' minds. And more importantly, in today's marketplace, shareholders are waiting on the sideline before they invest any of their hard-earned money. That's a, re a response to uh, a lot of the poor messaging that is going on right now. The survey also asked people about corporate America's reputation overall. 80% had a negative view, but 72% believe that there is hope for improvement, so that is hopeful. So what's the result of this, Bertha? I mean, will companies be spending more money on advertising to spruce up their images, you think? For some of them, that that's key. Say a company like WorldCom, they're really trying to work to change their reputations, but sometimes it's just a question of delivering. Another survey showed that Google, which doesn't advertise, isn't listed, really is spread by word of mouth, is one of the most trusted search engines and one of the companies that people like the most. All right, Bertha, thank you. But the